Have you ever considered the profound impact emotional control and mental health have on your life? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? And it's one that we often overlook in our daily hustle and bustle. But the truth is, emotional control and mental health are not only crucial for our personal development, they are also the bedrock of our overall well-being. Emotional control is the ability to manage and direct our feelings in a positive way, while mental health refers to our cognitive and emotional well-being. Together, they form a potent force that can either propel us towards success or anchor us in a sea of stagnation. And herein lies the beauty of emotional control. It's like a secret weapon, a hidden power that can radically transform our lives when harnessed effectively. So how do we tap into this power? Join us on a journey to ancient Greece, where we'll discover the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that holds the keys to mastering emotional control and fostering mental health. Stoicism, a philosophy born in the bustling heart of ancient Greece, has a lot to teach us about emotional control and mental health. In the bustling marketplaces of ancient Athens around 300 years before the birth of Christ, a man named Zeno of Sidium began teaching a philosophy that would stand the test of time. Zeno, a merchant-turned-philosopher after a shipwreck left him stranded in Athens, was the founder of Stoicism. Stoicism was forged in a time of great turmoil and change, an era when the traditional Greek city-states were losing their independence to the burgeoning might of Rome. In such tumultuous times people sought solace and guidance, and Stoicism provided a beacon of stability. It offered a way to navigate life's storms by focusing on what one could control, their own actions and reactions, and accepting what they couldn't, the world around them. The Stoics believed that our emotions and reactions are within our control and thus, they should be our primary concern. They argued that by understanding the nature of the universe and our place within it, we could achieve a state of tranquility, free from the turbulence of destructive emotions. The teachings of Stoicism were not confined to the academic circles of ancient Greece and Rome, they found their way into the daily lives of people from slaves to emperors, providing practical guidance for life's challenges. The Stoic philosophy emphasized living in accordance with nature and reason, promoting virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Interestingly, echoes of Stoic philosophy can be found in many religious and spiritual traditions, including Christianity. The biblical book of Proverbs, for instance, resonates with Stoic wisdom when it says, Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down, without walls. Stoicism, then, is not merely an ancient philosophy but a timeless guide to life and emotional mastery. Its teachings, born in the crucible of ancient Greece but resonant throughout the ages, offer a roadmap to emotional control and mental health, a compass guiding us through the tumultuous seas of life towards the calm harbor of tranquility. At the heart of Stoicism lie principles that can transform our relationship with our emotions and our mental health. Stoicism is more than just a philosophy, it's a way of life. Its principles are grounded in practicality, encouraging us to live in harmony with the world around us. Let's delve into the key principles that shape Stoic thought. Firstly, the dichotomy of control. Stoicism teaches us that some things are within our control, while others are not. Our thoughts, our actions, our responses, these are within our domain. But the world around us? Other people's actions? These are beyond our grasp. Recognizing this dichotomy brings a sense of peace and lessens the burden of unnecessary stress. The second principle is acceptance of fate. Stoics believe that everything happens for a reason and that we should embrace whatever life throws at us. This doesn't mean passive resignation, but rather active acceptance. This principle encourages resilience, preparing us to face any adversity with courage and grace. The third principle is virtue as the highest good. Stoicism places great emphasis on moral and ethical values. For the Stoics, a good life is a virtuous life. Honesty, courage, wisdom, justice, these are the virtues that should guide our actions. Finally, the cultivation of indifference towards external events. Stoics promote an inner tranquility that remains undisturbed by the chaos of the world. They teach us to detach from external circumstances, focusing instead on our inner state. This is not about denying emotions, but rather about not letting them control us. These principles, when applied, can lead to a profound shift in our emotional landscape and mental health. Imagine a life where you're not constantly buffeted by the winds of external events, where you're in control of your emotions and where virtue guides your every step. 
That's the promise of Stoicism, a philosophy not just for the ancient Greeks and Romans, but for all of us navigating the complexities of the modern world. These principles, when applied, can lead to a profound shift in our emotional landscape and mental health. But how exactly does Stoicism contribute to emotional control? Let's dive deeper. At the heart of Stoicism lies the art of reframing perceptions. Stoics believe that the world outside doesn't cause our emotional turmoil, but rather, our perceptions and judgments about the world do. You see, it's not the events themselves that disturb people, but their judgments concerning them. This principle invites us to examine our thoughts, to question their validity, and to reframe our perceptions in a way that promotes peace and tranquility. But Stoicism doesn't stop there. It also encourages us to understand our emotions better. Stoics regard emotions as natural responses to life's experiences. They don't advocate for emotional suppression, but rather, they encourage emotional understanding. By becoming aware of our emotions, identifying their triggers, and understanding their transient nature, we can navigate through life's ups and downs with greater ease and insight. Developing resilience is another cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. Stoics teach us that adversity is a part of life and that we can't avoid it. However, we can choose how we respond to it. Resilience in the Stoic sense is about accepting life's challenges, adapting to them, and using them as opportunities for growth. It's about developing an inner strength that is not easily swayed by external circumstances. So how does all of this contribute to emotional control? Well, by reframing our perceptions, we can reduce the intensity of our emotional reactions. By understanding our emotions, we can better manage them and prevent them from taking control of us. And by developing resilience, we can remain calm and composed in the face of life's inevitable adversities. Emotional control then is not about suppression, but rather about understanding, acceptance, and transformation. This is the Stoic way. It's an approach that doesn't only help us to control our emotions, but also to live a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Stoicism doesn't just stop at emotional control. It also offers us a framework for mental health. It encourages equanimity, resilience, and a focus on virtue and character development, all of which contribute to a healthier mental state. Let's delve into these aspects. Equanimity, or maintaining a balanced, even state of mind, is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. Stoics believe that by not allowing external events to disrupt our inner peace, we can achieve this balance. It's about understanding that while we cannot control everything that happens to us, we can control how we react to them. This perspective encourages a form of emotional resilience, helping us to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and stability. Resilience, another key aspect of Stoicism, promotes mental health by teaching us to bounce back from adversity. It's about learning to find the silver lining in every cloud, to view obstacles as opportunities for growth rather than setbacks. This shift in perspective can be empowering, fostering a sense of self-efficacy and reducing feelings of helplessness and despair. And let's not forget the Stoic emphasis on virtue and character development. Stoics believe that our character is the only thing truly within our control, and by focusing on developing virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, we can lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. This focus on personal growth and self-improvement can boost self-esteem and self-confidence, contributing to overall mental well-being. It's remarkable how this ancient philosophy, founded over 2,000 years ago, aligns so well with modern understandings of mental health. The Stoic principles of equanimity, resilience, and virtue mirror the qualities we now know promote mental health and well-being, balance, resilience, personal growth. Stoicism, then, is a powerful ally in the pursuit of mental health and well-being. It provides a time-tested framework for emotional and mental stability, helping us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. It encourages us to focus on what we can control, our reactions, our character, and to let go of what we can't. It's a philosophy not just for managing emotions, but for living a healthier, more fulfilling life. We've journeyed to ancient Greece and delved into the depths of Stoicism, but what have we learned? We've discovered a philosophy born thousands of years ago that still holds relevance today. Stoicism, with its focus on emotional control and mental fortitude, serves as a beacon guiding us towards improved mental health. We've unraveled the value of emotional control, understanding that emotions are not our enemies, but tools to be harnessed. We've learned that Stoicism teaches us to accept the things we cannot change and focus our energy on what is within our control. We've connected the dots between Stoicism and mental health, 
seeing how this ancient philosophy encourages us to cultivate inner peace and resilience. It helps us navigate life's storms with a calm and balanced mind. Stoicism isn't just a historical concept, it's a practical guide for modern living. Remember, the power to master your emotions and foster your mental health lies within you, in the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Now that we've uncovered the wisdom of Stoicism, what's next? It's time to apply this ancient philosophy in our daily lives. It's about embracing the tranquility that comes from understanding and accepting the natural flow of life. It's about learning to focus on what's within our control and letting go of the rest. Consider starting your day with a stoic meditation, reflecting on the principles we've discussed. Keep a journal, write down your thoughts, your struggles, your triumphs. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. If you're curious to delve deeper, there are countless resources out there. Classic texts by Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius are a good starting point. You can also find online forums, podcasts, and courses dedicated to the study and practice of Stoicism. Remember, the journey to emotional control and mental health is a lifelong one, but with Stoicism as your guide, you're well equipped for the road ahead. This is Enlight and Incline. Keep seeking, stay hungry, and find the way. May peace and courage be with you. Subscribe for more.